Alright guys, before I get into this video, make sure you guys go subscribe to my second channel, YT Brick Builds 2. I'll have a link to it in the description. Uh, if you didn't know, I do have a second channel where I post time lapses of me building my mocks and also behind the scenes of like stop motions and also like clips of stop motions that I don't show on my main channel and stuff like that. And also, if you didn't know, I do have an Instagram, so go follow me. I'll have a link to it in the description. It's at YT underscore Brick Builds. But yeah guys, enjoy the video. What's up guys, YT Brickbolts here, and today I'm going to be reviewing this Brickmania GAZ AAA medium duty military truck. And this is a Russian World War II cargo and uh, troop transport truck. So yeah, let's get into the review. So my brother bought this for his birthday about a week ago. So make sure you guys go tell him happy birthday in the comments. But yeah, let's get in with the review. This thing costs seventy dollars and has a hundred and sixty-six pieces in it. All right, guys, here it is, the GAZ AAA. I think Brickmania did. I mean, they did a pretty good job designing it. I mean, it looks pretty accurate to the actual thing. They did the best they could with Lego pieces. I mean, obviously, it's not going to be perfect. Probably the worst part is definitely, like, the cabin area. It's not that good compared to the actual thing. Here's a picture of what it actually looks like. Not the best, but, I mean, they did what they could with Lego. But at the front, it's just got this classic car, truck look with, like, the hood narrowing down to the front. And then they got the grills in the front, too. Also, it's got this really clean curve down to, like, the... Uh, step where they walk into the door really nice curve right there same thing on the other side and also this thing has two extra tires on either side of the hood uh, to I guess to replace like these tires and also these tires on the back are thicker than the front ones because they're like dually wheels or something but that's actually really interesting but yeah it's got two tires on either side and that's probably one of the biggest cons on this entire kit is that these tires fall off so easily they're just connected by these um these brown backpack pieces whatever you want to call them like you can see right here on these jumper plates they like go in there and just hook onto that so really not that much support and connection so they fall off really really easily so it is kind of annoying but then going down in the side there's just your cabin with the two doors on either side it doesn't have any side mirrors though so yeah that's not that good but for the doors they can't fully close but i think they're supposed to be like that they just sort of they're just sort of angled but it's supposed to be like that but another con is that they can't fully open without hitting the tire. Like right now, this is the max it can open it can go or else it will just shove the tire right off the front. But yeah, this is the max the doors can open, which is pretty bad. And then also inside the cabin, as I said before, is definitely the worst part about this kit. Because look at that. It's actually pretty sad. That is the tiniest thing I have ever seen. It's just a little 2x4 section for the person to fit. Uh, I'll get a fig to show you that there's really not that much uh, space for a person to drive. Also, my brother for his birthday bought a couple of these Russian guys, too. But let me just put him in. It's really hard with these windshield pieces. You kind of have to take them off. And then you have to, like, weave the bottom of these things through underneath his hands. It's really hard to get him in. And also, his arms have to be, like, facing upward, which doesn't look that good. It's just really tricky to fit him in there and see the, the wheel fell off again. But yeah, that's him in there. It, it looks really weird. He's just, like, it looks like he's screaming. He's just sticking his arms up. But yeah, there's no steering wheel. I mean, I guess it looks okay with the best they could do because they didn't want to make it look too big. But it's just another con of the kit. And also going towards the back, I think they did a really good job with the bed. That's probably my favorite part about the whole thing. But one thing is that the sides flip down and the tailgate too, which is not really accurate. These are just supposed to sort of stick up, but that's fine. But yeah, the tailgate does go down. So I guess you can pretend that like the troops are like walking up or something. But one really good thing about this kit is that this thing looks sick. If you just get a couple Brick Arms crates... It looks like it's hauling supplies. This looks awesome. You could also fit troops in here, too. But look how insane this looks with some Brick Arms crates. 
That just looks awesome. Hauling around some like supplies to the front lines or something. Looks really, really nice because this is mainly like a cargo truck and a troop truck. You can also get some figs in here too. Let me just get those. Uh, this thing can fit up to like six or seven troops inside. You can fit like two or three on each side. But it actually doesn't look that bad with the troops in there. It actually looks pretty sick. You just get a bunch of those Russians in there. Looks really nice. Hauling troops to the front lines. But yeah, the bed of the truck is definitely my favorite part about the whole thing. I mainly love how awesome it looks with like these brown crates in it. Re looks really, really sick. But yeah, another thing, just a little hidden detail to make it look better. I think most of the time for the GAZ trucks, uh, the bed, sometimes the bed was like brown. It was wood. They used wood for the... Um, the guardrails around the whole bed. So I guess they kind of try to replicate that. You can see with like the staggered boards on the sides of the guardrails. Just a little hidden detail to make it look not so perfect and stuff. Looks really good. And also in the back of the cabin, there's that little window. You can see the guy's head right there. Looks really cool. And also, Brickmania has this with most of their trucks. There's this little hitch on the back. They have it with most of their trucks so that you can fit like some artillery. My brother was thinking of getting the uh, World War II Russian artillery Brickmania has on their website right now. Here's a picture of it right now. He was thinking of getting that but didn't have enough money. But yeah, it can fit on this hitch right here and you can sort of tow it around. So that's a cool little feature on most of Brickmania's trucks. But yeah, again, like the even the roof of the cabin doesn't look that good. And also it's like really weird and bendy when someone's in there because of their helmet. But yeah, that's definitely, that, that's just the worst part about this, just the cabin. Really weird. But most of the kit is actually really good. But yeah, that's just the main con about this thing. But yeah, guys, and look right there. The tire just fell off again. Let me try to get this thing back on. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for this GAZ review. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope this reveal helped you out a little bit in buying this. But yeah, guys, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe, and until next time, goodbye.